have just jumped the lowest I have in 10 years, okay? And you know what that means to me? I'm about to jump my highest ever. How does that work? Because the mindset is the lower you jump, the deeper you go, the brighter you glow. This is only setting me up for the best comeback of all time. Comeback from what? Little injury. Did it take me way too long, two years, and I didn't know what I was, yeah. Does it suck to see footage from over a year ago where you're jumping a lot higher and nothing really changed? Yeah, of course. But does that change the journey? No. This is what I love, seeing those low points so you can harness them so when you achieve the highest level you can, you can see the progress. Seeing is impactful. Now when I make those gains and I have this video right here to show you where I started, done. So this is a reminder, sometimes you have to go backwards to go forward. Sometimes you have to go down the mountain to find a new path to the top. Am I delusional? Maybe. But here's the thing, the climb is the fun. Finding a way to jump higher than ever after such a low point and dealing with that doubt, dealing with that fear, dealing with that feeling of what the fuck am I doing? Should I do this? Is this even my purpose? Should I give up? No, let's do it. I was already hyped to begin with, as you know. Now, when I surpass my highest jumps ever after going down, 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 the hype is going to be out of body. Literally, I'm going to lose my skin. Go to Tuesday. Yo, what's good guys? I just got the steal of a century. I feel like rare kicks out here. Look, Nike bag. I need a new gym bag for the ball and the tripod. 85 bucks, I got it for 30 at Ross. Shout out Ross right now. Look at this. I could put my ball in it. So we'll see. I was looking for something I could put my tripod in, my camera in, and the ball, maybe even my shoe. So we'll see if I like it, but can't really beat that. Let's go. You need this. Big fan so far, big fan. I'm drenched. Already, uh, oh, already feeling much better from last session where I was like really practicing. It already feels a little bit more natural. It's just getting back to that routine. I haven't jumped in months. So I have to go back to square one. Already feeling progress. Easy. This guy was 400 pounds and now he's almost dunking. How tall are you? 6'3". And what was the biggest key for you to keep losing weight? Just playing basketball. Really? A lot of basketball? Yeah, I've been playing for like 8 months, so it's 8 months I lost like 200 pounds. Well, over like 2 years, but like basketball is really where I lost most of it. 
And what was your mindset? What flipped it from when you're 400 pounds and you're like, I gotta get back in shape? Ladies. Really? <laughs> I'll take it. You can't even squat for one. Hey! There you go. There you go. A lot of energy, but I gotta focus on what my goals are. I can't skip it. I can't do the full speed yet. So what I'm doing here is the RDLs trying to keep my core engaged, lats engaged, spreading the bar, pulling the bar, bar apart. That keeps me in great form. My head is neutral and pushing my butt up is the most important. It fires up that hamstring. It hurts like crazy, but if you watch my other videos, I explain why I'm going through that pain. I'm remolding that tissue and right here is starting to feel really good, lower and lower. And that's just something that I'm working on really, really heavily. And it's making a lot of progress. Day by day, I have to do this every single day. Not every day this heavy, but daily, I have to stretch it out. So this is the heaviest I've gone yet with the RDLs. Two plates, that's 225 pounds, and really just pushing my hamstring. See how much strength it has. It easily can lift it and lower it. It hurts, but I'm working through it, and I'm excited to start adding more and more weight. That strength is going to make me fly, baby. And now just rep out lightweight, back to 135, just carving those new patterns, telling my hamstring, pushing it, focusing on that form, just pushing, 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 that butt up, that hamstring length, lengthening, strengthening, reps on reps on reps, just to really carve new tissue. That's the whole game plan with this. I have a lot of scar tissue I have to break up and reprogram the patterns that my hamstring does not want to move into so that way I can use it to its full potential. Let's go! Range of motion, length through strength, strength through length, whatever the f- and lastly, the stretch. The hamstring stretch is holding my leg at 90 degrees, using that quad to flex my foot up to stretch that hamstring. It looks like I'm not trying, but I'm trying really, really hard to straighten that leg. And every day I'm making progress with this, and I have to do this twice a day minimum just to keep those patterns emerging. And that is the daily grind for me, really making progress, even get it all the way straight and flex that knee and lock it out. So that's huge for me, and just got to stay on top of it, especially now that I'm jumping. Let's get it. We're out here. I don't know how long it's been since the last time I'm here. Infant steps. Seven and a half and nine eight on the back. Pain to the right too much too. I have to get back in the seat.
Yo, so this was the very next day. Just went to the gym to do some recovery and stretching, but people were playing, so I'm like, you know what? I'll have some fun, good blood flow. And in just three, four days from that last one-on-one -on -one session, I felt so much less rusty and just quicker and just way more in rhythm with my game. So that's really fun to see that progress and really good for my mentality because yesterday after such a rough jumping session, it feels good to be a little bit quicker and still feel athletic. So. I gotta just remember that it takes time to get back into the groove, it takes time to be speedy and explosive, it's just my livelihood. So when I had a day like the last couple sessions where I just felt super unathletic, I gotta remember it's just what week one and two of getting back to full speed. Lowest day of my life, but today I'm out here for my sanity, but also just to test it out because it was that bad. The balance of training, it's an art. I talk about it on my podcast today if you want to know more about it, that's all I'm going to say. Even these jumps felt really good. Wasn't expecting to jump at all, but my body's feeling great, so that's just a great sign. Feeling natural, feeling springy again, so just really staying patient off the drop again, but really excited for these upcoming weeks to really make progress jumping again. Feel like my ceiling is Don't higher than Don't play ever. down to the rim you're at. Same goes for competition. Don't play to their level. Always be the underdog. <laughs> 